handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here New Year's Day. It is the 1st of January, 2023. Going to look the third race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean around the world. Uh, 2023, it's a, it's a new year, and uh, my God, I do not want to relive 2022 ever again in my life. A very, very weird, stressful year. So, uh, new year. Uh, let's look at the feature third race. Usually years ago, going back now, uh, we used to always go to the racetrack on New Year's Day, me and my old man uh, and my grandfather when he was around. That's going back now almost 20 years, um, 18 years. Um, but um, we would always go New Year's Day for the calendars and the feature day. Feature New Year's Day race was always the Interboro. Some good Interboros used to see. But uh, this year, it's a different race. The last few years, it was a drone, but this year, the featured third race on the program that we're going to look at is the Lady Stakes. It's going for a purse of $150,000, race for Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of five horses taking a lap around the Aqueduct Main Track, which is 1,800 meters in circumference, or the mile and one-eighth on the Aqueduct Main Track, 1,800 meters and mile and eighth here in the Ladies formerly known as the Ladies Handicap. Another race years ago used to be run on the inner uh, inner track at a mile and a quarter at the mid to late December. Um, it was always a good race. I um, wish they were running at a mile and a quarter, but you don't have a lot of fillies that want to go that trip anymore. But my top selection here, I'm going to go with the five horse Falconet. Let's go five, two, four, one in the Superfecta. Five, two, four, one Super. Top selection of five horse Falconet. Four year old Philly by Uncle Mo. Top Ledger trains. Jose Lascano gets the mount. The horse's most recent nine came 25th of November, actually my birthday at Aqueduct. Mount Nathan, the Grade Three Comely. And he finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day and lost all chances at the beginning. Off the bench, he completely stumbled out of the gate. He took a little time to get, get the recomposer. But he just couldn't get there late. Refreshing here against lesser quality horses, hopefully baking, raking a lot better. I think he can really run a good race, and I think she could get the victory again. <clears throat> Two back in the Seneca oven at Churchill, mile 16th and 24th of September. She went a second by a neck that day, and she just set the pace that day. Um, you know, she, a little bit too fast maybe to that half, but she just kind of got stuck late, uh, caught late. But she ran her heart out there. And then the Iowa Oaks of Parabettos over the mile 16th, 9th, 9th of July. She finished second by three lengths. She was dueling with the pace setters, and she just just kind of got caught late. Butter Ben just really ran that good race. And then a Churchill's 3rd of June, one mile in an optional 80. She won by one quarter lengths and on the front end all throughout. Another very good race, earning an 80 buyer. Last time out, she posted a 91 buyer. She's training well on the training track at Belmont. I think she could get redemption here. I think a horse for the pick five would be the two horse battle bling. Kendra Carmouche is on this one for Raba Trass. Five year mare by Vancouver. Most recently in the go for one handicap over the mile on the slop on the third December, she finished eighth by twenty fourth quarter lengths and didn't break well, which cost her. Down the class ladder, mile and eighth, which is her preferred trip. It wouldn't surprise me if Kendra steals it on the front end like he did in the turn back the alarm where they went one fifteen and three, fifty to the to the half, winning by a neck. He had enough in the tank to win a very good run there. Um and then prior to that on the slop and the twixt at Laurel. He won by one and a half lengths. A little bit wide, but he was drifting late, but he still got the job done. A horse that really likes a wet going. It's going to rain Saturday into Sunday. It shouldn't be so cold, so it's going to be a nice, um, you know, <laughs> it would be a very nice fall day, um, but it's the early January, so it's going to be mid-50s, so, but the uh, she, this horse should really, um, you know, do wonders with the wet track. 8-5. We'll use her in the pick 5, but to recount my selection for the third from Aqueduct, it is the Lady Stakes. Let's take the 5-horse Falcon X Give kudos to the two horse battle bling. 5241 Super. 5 2 in your multi race. So good luck to all. And please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.